In a previous section, we addressed outgoing webhooks. Those are web services registered with a team in Microsoft Teams that receive messages from channels when they're at mentioned. The other type of webhook is a connector. And that's a web service or an app that can send messages proactively to a channel without being prompted by Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams supports two types of connectors, incoming webhooks and Office 365 connectors. And in this section, we're gonna see how to register an incoming webhook in Microsoft Teams channels and post a message to it. Incoming webhooks are special types of connectors in Microsoft Teams that provide a simple way for external apps to share content in Teams channels. This type of a connector is often used for tracking and notification messages. Microsoft Teams provides a unique endpoint when you register an incoming webhook that your web service will send a JSON payload with the message that you want to send to the channel. These messages can be text-based messages or rich messages that consist of images or cards. A card is a user interface container that contains content and actions related to specific topics. These cards enable you to present message data in a consistent way. Cards are used in multiple ways across the Microsoft clients, including bot messages, messaging extensions, task modules, and connectors. Let's look at some of the key features of incoming webhooks. Incoming webhooks are scoped and configured at the channel level, and unlike outgoing webhooks that are scoped and configured at the team level. Messages are also formatted as JSON payloads, and this declarative messaging structure prevents the injection of malicious code as there's no code execution done in the client. If you choose to send messages via cards, you must use the actionable message card format. Actionable message cards are supported in all Microsoft 365 groups, including Microsoft Teams. Cards are a great way to present information in a clear and consistent way. Any tool or framework that can send HTTPS post requests can send messages to Microsoft Teams via an incoming webhook. And all text fields in actionable messaging cards support basic markdown. Don't use HTML markup in your cards. HTML is ignored and is treated as plain text. Your incoming webhook is gonna submit its HTTP post request to a unique endpoint that's been provided by Microsoft Teams. The endpoint is generated when you register the incoming webhook on a channel. So you navigate to the channel where you wanna add the webhook and select the More Options menu, or you add an app to the Teams installed apps. The next configuration screen prompts you for the channel where you want to register the incoming webhook. And then after you register the incoming webhook, as you can see here on the slide, a dialog is gonna display a unique endpoint your web service will submit the HTTP request post to. Finally, you're gonna update your own web service so that it knows to submit its requests to this endpoint that you see here on the slide. When you send an incoming webhook, send a message to the registered endpoint that you've got earlier. Microsoft Teams will then add it to the Conversations tab in the configured channel as you see here.